Just finishing up the Super Nintendo Power Rangers game. We're playing as Jason, as you can probably imagine. We played as the last four characters in the last two videos, so... No worries, we're playing as the leader now. The big, tough man in red. He's a buff son of a gun. His body's made of steel and iron and nitrogen and liquid nitrogen and meteors and... Uh, uh, all sorts of shit. I don't know, like, if you name something tough in the universe, this guy's got it. Now, I guess this is a fair time to point out, there is something I've seen a few people say, like, well, oh, what a downer that they don't have this in the game. And there's, there's a certain character, a certain green guy, who's very similar to these Power Rangers. One may not even call him a green... I'm not sure exactly what you'd call him, really, but he—he's a—he's a guy that's. Uh, They—they kind of wish that they could play as him, and you know what? I. Who cares? There's. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. It. They, all the characters play the same. Like, I mean, if I'm playing as Jason, it's really not that much different than playing as Kimberly and fucking asshole. But anyway, like, it, it doesn't. Who gives a shit? I, I don't. Like, the only thing that's different is if I'm playing as Billy, I feel a lot more emasculated. But, I mean, that's that's not Billy's fault. That's just the game's silly animations. There's... Sincerely, there isn't that much of a difference. So, who cares? You could play as anybody in this game, and it wouldn't be all that different. So, just play your best. P pick who you want to play as. I don't fucking care. I, you, you do what you feel like, man. I'm not in control of you. I'm not your fucking parents. If I was, it'd be a lot really abusive. I wouldn't talk to you, I'd just like be talking about Power Rangers all the time and be like, shut up! If you're supposed to feed me, I'd say, no! Pine Octopus is getting beaten up! I don't know. We're already at the fucking bot. Okay. This is Dark Warrior. Um. He doesn't. I don't know. He. When I was a kid, I was. I And I still am, but I'm fucking obsessed with the monsters. Honestly, the design on Dark Warrior in this game doesn't look ex super close to him, I guess. It looks pretty close, but it, it's not, like, I guess the right color. And when I was a kid, I, I wasn't sure if that was actually him. But I'll talk about Dark Warrior, actually, if you're watching this when it comes out. I'll be talking about him next week after doing some fucking backflips. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Might as well. You learn how to do something in the game... No matter how fucking superfluous it is, and all you ever want to do ever again is that very same thing. It's the best. It's fucking the best. I love it so much. Sorry. It's just, it really, it hits my pleasure center, I suppose. And that is the only time you will see me get hit by one of those stupid little barrels, unless I already have. But I don't think I have. I usually am smart enough to avoid them. But, that's just me. Like, I... I love these goddamn backflips and throwing barrels. This game is satisfying. That's the best thing you can ask for in a beat-em-up. Good controls are very important. But if it's not satisfying, then it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, that's what makes beat-em-ups a great genre, is when you just feel like, oh man, you just knocked that putty flat on his ass. That's, that's something you can't put a price on. It's a putty getting his brains mushed in. You can quote me on that. Tell your parents. And backflip all the time. I don't care. I feel like after playing the game a little bit, like, I'm not amazing at it, but after... I guess the first couple of levels were practice for me, because I feel like I'm a little better at it. I'm not amazing, like, I let that laser hit me. I'm not super concerned about it, but also... I don't think the boss in this stage is particularly difficult, so I'm not really too concerned about preparing for him or anything. I mean, you know, I said that I was good at this game. I'm just fucking- three of those barrels, for Christ's sakes! I'm being clumsy. I'm getting clumsy because I have too much life, and I'm getting too proud of myself. I'm shitty at this game. I used to be really good at it when I was a kid. Or I was always this shitty, and I thought I was good as a kid, but as I aged, I had higher expectations of my abilities, so I became... I never progressed, I just stayed the same shitty amount, and I should be better as an adult, but I'm not. 
So don't... That's your fucking moral, is if you play a game as a kid, never play it as an adult, or you're gonna be so pissed. And I, you see, I thought that was the end of the level, but we still got a little more to go. We're in, like, a science facility now, for some reason? Now there, I got a little better at avoiding those laser beams. So good on me. If you're not gonna congratulate me, I will, dick. Because you never congratulate me for anything. Thank you for that. I'm just trying my best, and I don't hear fucking word one from you. God damn it. No, actually, I wanted to say, uh, for those people who follow a lot of the stuff I do, thank you for kind of sticking with the blog and these videos, and I like that you can break the computer screens by throwing the putties. One's good enough, I don't care. Just move on. But no, um, I, I, I'm probably giving some Power Ranger overload. I saw a couple of people say something along the lines of, yeah, enough with the, we got the Power Rangers, we got it, it's great. So, I promise, I promise the next game that I do isn't going to be Power Rangers. I hand to my heart, stick a needle in my eye, however the old saying goes, cross my fingers, and then I die. But I, I won't, I won't indulge you with my childhood fantasies of spandex and golems. I, I, I guarantee you. I can't promise I'll fucking play this game right, but, you know, I can guarantee you a couple other things. Just putties out the wazoo. I'm not sure if I was making this game if I would have made many other enemies. I don't know. I don't particularly care. I think plenty of putties are fine. That's what you're watching this... You're, that's what you're watching the show for. That's what you're playing the game for. You hear that, that, that loud noise? Holy fucking shit! It was a laser beam! With a lava beam. I don't know, it's, it was accessing the Earth's core and taking the very essence of the planet. Holy moly. It even kills the putties. There's no discrimination between friend or foe. You just fucking blow it up like everything else. I know I was just talking about a variety of enemies, but I think this is more like a mid-boss than anything. You want to you say duck down, because it will hit you if you're standing up. But, like, while the beam shrinks, it won't. But when it's full beam, watch out, brother. It's a pain in the butt. And you can just kind of, like, get out of the way of this laser camera thing. It's really not that hard. I keep thinking that there's more health, but I guess not. It certainly doesn't look in that way. I could probably break a couple of those computer screens in the background, but you know what? I don't have time for that shit. There's no fucking... We got things to do, and dark warriors to fight. God, I love this boss music. It's so fucking good. This game has fantastic music, honestly. If nothing else, play this just for the music. But the sword against sword... I, fuck, I love that. I love that little, like, the fucking dual kicks. I love this fucking fight. It's a good fight. And he uses his stupid ninja smoke bomb to try and get out of the way. He has his katana that he got fucking right off of eBay because he wanted to be a ninja, just like his favorite Amine. But we got to use the, all of the bombs, at least. I like that. Jason uses a T-Rex fire bomb or whatever. And Dark Warrior seems to have bombs of his own. He's, his bombs fucking stink because they drops them and then just runs away. I like I like this boss fight though. It's not I wouldn't say that it's difficult, but well, oh shit, he whipped out a uh, a chain and sickle. And the, that's nice attention to detail though. Like in the show, he has a couple of weapons and I think all of the things that he does in the game are weapons that he uses. I don't think he does a bomb. He does something similar, but We'll get there soon. Don't worry. I don't want to spoil any of it. It wasn't a Jason episode, by the way. It was a fucking Trini episode. But if you think I'm going to play as Trini again, you got another thing coming, sister. Fuck that stuff. Okay, just get on the fucking ground, Dark Warrior. I've had about enough of you. I'm actually pretty proficient to this fight compared to some of the more embarrassing forays like Gnarly Gnome and... I guy. I, I'm just assuming, like, I did pretty... And they, I love the fucking dry heaving animations. They always look like cats thrown up. And if you want a good looking boss death, just fucking make it a cat throwing up. But hold on, I'll be quiet There's for once. There's something you need to hear.
Uh, that's, that's, that's about enough of that. Just a 16-bit rendition, like... <laughs> this used to be the best... This used to be the best our games could offer. That was... That was the best. This was like, holy shit, they're actually playing the theme song from the show in the game? And with lyrics? That's crazy. It's like That sounded so horrible, I love it. God. But anyway, uh, this we're piloting the Megazord. There's been a whole genre change, sort of. It's it's turned into kind of a fighting game, and you can block, you can uh, fire like energy. That's what your power meter at the bottom is charging up. You can just do all sorts of little attacks like that. The longer you charge it up, the stronger it becomes. But we're fighting a monster named Mutitus. He'll come in about middle of this you know, quarter of the way into the season. He is very, very tough. In the show he was. I mean, right now, he's about as tough as he looks like. Now watch out for that shit, because he has his own power meter, as you might have noticed, and he was firing beams out the fucking wazoo. And I'm letting this charge so I can show you the full power attack. And I probably shouldn't, because he's actually kind of hitting me now. You Titus, you piece of shit, come here! You fucking jerk! I can't, I'm not losing to you! You... Rude Gus, come here. Thank you. Uh, I'll, f I'll, no. He's, oh, he's, he's, I think he's coming for a counterattack. No, he's not. He slashed in half. Like a fucking chicken. It's worthless. He's gone for good. Sorry, Mutitis, but you fucking stink. But now, this is, fu this is, fuck it. This is the shit. We're fighting Cyclopsis, and he's coming in, he'll be in way later, but he is one of my fucking favorite monsters in the whole goddamn series. Now, be very careful. You want to have quite a bit of health in this fight. You want to retain health as best as you can. I'm probably not being too secretive as to, like, what you need to do, but there's something that'll happen that might blow your goddamn mind. If you've ever played a video game before, though, it might not be that surprising. But just keep fighting him, just keep him off your ass. I'm not great at these fights. I'm, I'm... If you ever, like, want to know why I will not play, like, a fighting game, just watch this, because I'm fucking rotten at him. But thankfully, I killed him before he got his power meter up. Use the power slash. What the fuck?! He just grew horns and blades, and now he's golden! He's unstoppable! Bullshit, just keep fighting him, Megazord. We're fucking... We'll kick him in the nuts. Fuck that guy. He's a loser. I'm gonna rock his world. But I don't care what he throws at you. But yeah, basically, if you have, like, half of your life left, consider it, consider it a wash. Like, that you're still on the way there. You're almost there. Just keep fighting him. He's not much stronger. He's a little more defensive, maybe. But he's... He's pretty much the same. So don't... Don't get disheartened, even if you are a little nervous. He's tough. But you're you're tough too. You're the you're fucking five robot dinosaurs combined. I think you can handle a big douchebag looking cyclops. You're fine. Kick some ass, Megazord. Oh man, I'm actually kind of nervous there. I kind of kind of kind of got pussy there. Just used a special attack. But he's done. He's finished. That's actually kind of a tricky fight. But he's fucking dead. Didn't need to change forms that time, did I? You piece of shit. God. I'm sorry, that fight's super, super satisfying to me. <sighs> you know what's not that satisfying? Is these ending credits. I... Well, there are some good things about it. We'll get to... <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> Zack's animation... Well, tell me what you think... Th what you think that that looks like, because I'm interested. I'd rather not say, but it it doesn't look Never mind. It just doesn't look that good. I mean this animation the car animation is obviously incredible. Like it's actually that it looks exactly like cars look like. I mean it's perfect. I, if you told me the Rangers could drive though, I mean I don't know if I'd believe you. Th this is this is our ending. They have fucking sprites for Bulk and Skull, and I can't play as them. It's bullshit. 
I, it kind of looks like the juice bar is like decorated for Christmas or something. I don't know. And what's even fu what's funny as hell to me is Billy, Kim, Jason, and Zach. They have they're like outlined. Like you can see them. They're uh, they're bright, but Trini's <laughs> they just darkened her. Fuck Trini. I think they 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 knew what side of the fucking bread their butter went on. I like Ernie's even in the background. They made a sprite for Ernie. For fucking Ernie of all people. The guy who serves them drinks. They don't they couldn't be bothered to put fucking Goldar in this game, but they will be goddamned if they're not giving you what you're fucking paying for, and that's Ernie. This, this is the silliest ending. Like this reminds me of I think there's some ending to one of the Street Fighters where Zangief just does, like, a Russian dance. That is literally all this reminds me of, and it makes me laugh every time, because it's so fucking dumb. But that's Power Rangers, man. If you like this ending, for some reason, you will love Power Rangers, because it's the same thing. It's basically just this scene for 20 seasons. They've been doing this, this whole scene for, like, 35 years. I don't know, man. I don't know. I fucking love this game, though. I mean, it's really legit. Thanks for sticking it out. I, I appreciate that a lot. Promise next time it ain't gonna be Power Rangers. Hold on, hold on though. We have to do our fucking mandatory keep watching our show, guys, because this game that you just played didn't actually impact anything in the show with that sprite of Rita we had from before. And these little passcodes... Uh, if you input them at the uh, at the screen there, at the password screen, you can actually do those fights with uh, Megazord and Mutitis and Megazord and Cyclopsis and Cyclopsis version 2 as two-player arcade mode fights, which is really fun. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, I don't know. But take it easy, I'm not going to do that shit.